So if you got a John Deere hydrostatic rider and all of a sudden you hear this kind of a screeching noise and it won't go forward or backward anymore, uh, there may be a fairly simple fix to your problem. Uh, you might think the hydrostatic's blown, but uh, chances are it could be this pulley right here. This is the pulley that goes on the input shaft of the transaxle, and as you can see, the splines are worn out. So what happens is this pulley just spins around on the spline on the input shaft and makes a racket, and you don't move anywhere. Uh, it's a fairly, fairly common problem. Uh, to fix this is what you'll need here. A uh, screwdriver to pop your back wheel uh, clip off, and then you gotta pull the back wheel off. You wanna lower the deck down all the way so you can pull that wheel off without hitting this wheel here. Uh, and then you'll need these snap ring pliers. There's a snap ring that holds the pulley on. You're gonna wanna push in the clutch brake pedal, or the, the brake pedal, and lock it so that the belt is loose, okay? If the belt's tight, you're not gonna be able to get the pulley off. And then you're gonna want a pair of pliers to put the snap ring back on uh, for the, the rear tire. So there's that pulley, all right? And you probably kind of see that snap ring there. And since I have the brake locked down, that belt is nice and loose. You can take the snap ring off and lift up uh, the pulley and the belt at the same time. Put your new pulley on and uh, replace the snap ring, put the tire back on and uh, you'll be good to go. So this would be a lot cheaper than a new hydrostatic uh, transmission or taking it to John Deere to have them fix it. Um, on, on this model, the, uh, the fender is all part of the frame. It's all one, it's all welded, so you can't take the fender off. Um, some other ones, uh, you can get the fender off. There's a couple bolts here behind the seat or screws that you take off. You gotta take the pedals off, and then there's some bolts that go up underneath the floorboards, and you gotta take that knob off for the, the seat height control. You gotta undo the uh, safety switch wire for the seat, and you can lift that whole fender off if you can't access it by taking this wheel off, all right? But this one, you have to take the wheel off and get in there that way because, uh, or you gotta drop the, the transaxle, which is way, way much more work than just getting through there where that tire is, okay? So, hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching.